Hello children, we just finished the lesson living things. Now today I will give you a revision of this lesson. As you know, we see many things around us which are living and non-living. You can also see in this picture. So humans, animals, trees and plants are all living things. The sun, moon, rocks, water and air are natural non-living things. They are not made by man. While paper, clothes, cars, TV, computer, furniture, your house, doors, windows, they are all made up of, they are all made by humans. They are non-living things made up by human beings. They are not natural non-living things. Now, there are certain characteristics which are seen only in living things. Like they are, they move on their own. Living things need air, water and food to live. Living things are made up of cells. Living things can grow and change in their appearance. Living things respond to the change in their environment and living things reproduce. Now, shortly, in brief, I will again revise all these characteristics one by one. See here, living things move on their own. See, animals have to move in search of food and shelter because they cannot get any food if they will not move. They have to search their food. So they move in the search of food and they also have to move to escape from their enemies. Plants do not move around for food as they can make their own food. As you know non-living things normally do not move on their own. Another characteristic is living things need air, water and food. Because if they don't get this, they will die. It is very important for them, for their life to get air, water and food. Non-living things do not need any of these things. Now plants also need food. Plants make their own food. How they make? They use the green substance. You see the leaves of a trees are green. They are green because they have a substance called chlorophyll in them. And with the help of this chlorophyll and with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide from the air and water which we give to the plants, that water they take up from the soil and with the process of photosynthesis, they make their own food. So, plants also need food which they prepare on their own. And the process is called photosynthesis. Photo means light, sunlight. In the presence of sunlight, synthesis means to make. They make their own food in the presence of sunlight. Another characteristic is living things are made up of cells. Now cells are a basic unit of life you can see. They are very tiny. I had told you as the wall is made up of small small bricks. Our, the living beings are also made up of cells. These cells are small uh, living part of living things. And they are so small that they cannot be seen by naked eye. So they are seen under only under the microscope. And there are many millions of cells in a, in a living body, any living body. But one organism is there which is made up of only single cell or one cell only. That is known as unicellular organism and its name is amoeba. So amoeba is a single cellular organism. Others are multicellular means they are made up of many cells. Mill millions of cells are present in the living beings. 
Another characteristics of living things are that they can grow and they change in their appearance. You know, uh, as as you grow up, you start looking different. When you were born, you were looking different. You also increased in the weight, and your height also increased. So you are so you look different. In few years time, again, you will become adult, and you will look still different. So all living things they grow. They grow, they grow old and they also die. See in the picture, small seed is there. It, it is becoming to grow. And as it grows, it is looking different. You can see in the picture and small and it becomes a sapling. Then it becomes a small plant. Then it becomes a big tree. So out of a seed, you can see, you can see that a tree has because a tree has developed and it also looks different than the seed. So living things grow. And whatever changes are there in the environment. Suppose if you are feeling hot, you will put on the fan or you will put on the AC. If the windows are closed, you will, you will feel like opening the windows. Why? Because you are feeling hot. Now, similarly, animals also, they also feel the change in their environment. Like the dog will start panting if it is uh, feeling hot. So, these are the responses that the living beings give for the changes in their environment. So, pl plants also feel these changes and they also respond like a plant uh, called touch me not if you go uh, close to it and if you touch its leaves it will the leaves will close means it is responsive it is responding to your touch while the bird of a sunflower it it moves towards the sun wherever in the direction of the sun it will try to move so that uh, it, it can face the sun. So this is all telling that the living things respond to the change. As you know, non-living things cannot do so. Right? Another important characteristics of living things is living things reproduce. Mm -hmm. You know, life continues on the earth. As you know, living things, they grow, they become old and they die. But life keeps on continuing how because living things produce young ones they reproduce they, they produce reproduce means they produce young ones of their own kind animals reproduce by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs from which the babies hatch so these are the two types by which animals can reproduce Plants also reproduce. They can reproduce by producing seeds or spores. Or some plants also grow out of stem, out of roots or also out of leaves. This is how plants reproduce. And as you know, non-living things do not reproduce. See here are the pictures which are showing the tortoise hatching from the egg. And the plant is growing out of the seed. So this is how they reproduce. These are the important characteristics of the living things which are seen only in living things and non-living things do not exhibit any of these characteristics. Now one more important topic of this chapter is that grouping things. Grouping things means the things are grouped under one one uh, group you can say which are these uh, things the things with uh, with same characteristics okay and why it is done by studying about characteristics the scientists have done this why to make the studies easier so that it is easier for for them to study each group so the scientists have grouped these things. 
and they make their study easier and they are divided into two broad groups that is living things and non living things all the all the things which show all the characteristics of living things will come under living things like plant animals okay and others are which are not showing any living uh, thing living being characteristics are grouped under non living things okay then living things are again divided into two major groups that are plants and animals you know plants are different than animals plants plants have different characteristics animals have different they they eat in a different way they live in a different way they move in a different way they reproduce in a different way right so again they are divided into two parts that are plants and animals here the classification is shown you can see living things they are divided into living things non living things two parts then again living things are divided into plants and animals why so that their study becomes easier they are all having same characteristics so that it becomes easier for them to study i hope you understand the whole lesson now you should read it nicely means go through this and try to solve the worksheets so that you will again understand it in a better better way so thank you